Sunday night, we have a lunar eclipse. And what this is, is the Earth is going to block the light of the sun from reflecting off of the moon. And when this happens, the moon becomes quite a bit dimmer because you've got the Earth in the way. That sunlight that's normally reflecting off the moon doesn't. A little bit of sunlight actually does get through. It filters through the Earth's atmosphere, and that turns the moon a very distinctive red color. So you'll sometimes hear these eclipses referred to as blood moons. And it's because of this red color, because this little tiny bit of sunlight is still filtering through the Earth's atmosphere. So at the State Museum, we're having a viewing event of the eclipse uh, from 8 p.m. to midnight. And uh, we'll have telescopes from the Midlands Astronomy Club set up outside the front entrance of the museum. And then we'll have our big telescope, our Alvin Clark telescope going. And the, the Astronomy Club telescopes will give you a, a wider angle view of the moon. You'll be able to see more of the whole moon in one view. The Alvin Clark view and our, uh, our big telescope view up in the observatory will be a more detailed view, kind of like you're hovering over the moon in a spacecraft. The next uh, total lunar eclipse is in 2018. So we're actually about to go through a little bit of a lunar eclipse lull. Uh, we've had a series of four, a so-called tetrad of lunar eclipses. Uh, there was actually a really nice one just under a year ago, back on, in October of 2014. So lunar eclipses are actually not that rare, simply because the, the Earth is such a big body. And uh, when it blocks the light of the sun uh, from reflecting off the moon, you can actually uh, see that all over the world, or over a large portion of the world. Not all over the world, but over a large portion of the world. What's a lot more rare is an event we have coming up in just under two years, in uh, August 20 of 2017, August 21st, 2017. We have a total solar eclipse, uh, and Columbia is center line. We will see this. One of the things that's about this eclipse is that it's a, a so-called super eclipse, or supermoon eclipse. So. What a supermoon is, is when the moon is at full moon and closest to the Earth in its orbit. So the result of this is that the full moon looks just a slightly larger in our sky. It may not even be that noticeable. It will not look dramatically larger. It is a little interesting to have a lunar eclipse happening at when the moon is at this point in its orbit around the Earth. So. It could be that we have a lunar eclipse where the moon is eclipsed and looking just a little larger in our sky. But it's not going to be a really dramatic effect. The moon isn't going to be this huge thing that we see in our sky. So just keep that in mind when you're looking. The moon is actually going to look fairly normal, except for the red color. 